Hi, I'm Lynn Langett. I'm Jessica Ellis. We're going to show you a code sample we wrote today. Okay, so here at Here Technologies, they have created mapping capabilities in the form of APIs. And as you can see, they have a robust offering of different APIs, anything from map image to venue, traffic, places. We're going to focus on the Geocoder API and most specifically, we're going to focus on coordinates, returning latitude and longitude for mapping purposes. Cool. And if you show in GitHub, where we have our sample code, I've drawn an architectural diagram. It's really simple. Um, typically use two uh, S3 buckets. In this case, we actually just use one with two folders. And all of our code is up here. We'll show you where it is at the end. We called out and used a Lambda, and that calls out to uh, here technologies. And then importantly, we're going to talk about security, which is often overlooked. Um, and we've got this pattern for security. But it's a little boring to look at a picture, so Jessica, why don't you show us how it works? We're going to go ahead and head over to Amazon S3. And as you can see, we have a bucket with two folders in it, a source and a destination. What we're going to do is we're going to upload a JSON file, and this is the formatting that we have used. Um, it is important with this particular Lambda to use something formatted this way because that is what triggers it. We're going to go to the source file folder. When the JSON file hit this folder, it triggered the Lambda. And so if we go to the destination folder, you can see that it has been returned. We're going to download that. Here's the file returned from Here Technologies with the latitude and longitude ready to be used with our maps. Great, so now let's look at the Lambda. So in the Amazon console, you can see the typical pattern there. You've got S3 going in, triggering the Lambda, and then coming out and working with the Secrets Manager, which is a new pattern, CloudWatch and S3. You can also verify, even though we got the answer through the Monitoring tab, if you click on Monitoring, you can see that, and we've been playing with this, there'll be a few invocations. And then, of course, you could use CloudWatch or X-Ray if you want to be really fancy. So let's go back to the configuration and let's talk about security a little bit. You can see the execution role that we're using is the Geocoder API, and this is going to give the permissions. But one of the things that I mentioned in the beginning and I want to just highlight is the Secrets Manager. So if you click on the Secrets Manager, how did you use that? So the Secrets Manager is new from Amazon, and what it allowed us to do is to basically hide our here technologies app ID and app code into our code and so the secret manager allows you to call these credentials without having them listed in your code. Which is super important, a new feature. So go ahead and click over to the IM management console and again we have a best practices pattern that I want to share with you. If you just scroll down you can see that on line 9 um, what we've done is we've restricted the permissions in S3 to the specific bucket and if you had two buckets it'd be both buckets and this is just something I see done wrong all the time um, generally but specifically around API calls so I wanted to point that out. Now again if you go back to the GitHub and scroll up you can see all of our code is available for you to try this out and you can see there's a lot more that you can work with from here technologies. If you go back to here technologies and you actually scroll up in addition to all the APIs, even within the API we were working with, the geocoder, we only got that long. But if you scroll down on the right side there, or up, you can see there's a whole bunch of other fields and other information. It's a really rich API. And we're really just getting started. So what should we work on next? Places. Okay. Thanks very much. I'm Lynn Langett. Jessica Ellis.